Hello everyone, it's Shannon here from Craft Ghetto, and welcome to Waffle Flower's October release blog hop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool pop-up candy corn card using the brand new pull tab tree die. This die can also be used to make a Christmas tree and several other really great designs, which I'll share some ideas at the end of the video, so stay tuned. This is the Christmas tree combo set. It comes with the Christmas tree stamp set in the front and the pull tab tree die in the back. You'll see today that I will use this pull tab tree die to create three different designs and two of them are not even trees. So there's a lot of versatility with this die set. And the cool thing is, is it pops up. So it's an interactive card, which is just awesome. And it's really easy to assemble. The first thing I'm gonna do is take some 80 pound paper and cut the tree from some white cardstock. For the hexagonal mechanism on the right here, I'm gonna use 110 pound white cardstock. So a heavier weight cardstock for that mechanism and a heavier weight card stack for the pull tab. I am using 110 pound craft paper for the pull tab, however, because my card base is going to be made out of craft paper and the pull tab will just blend in better with the card base. So I went ahead and ran these three dies through my die cutting machine and as you can see, the dies will imprint a score line into the shapes and that will make assembling your tree and folding your tree a lot easier. So I'm gonna turn this tree into a giant piece of candy corn and I need to create a mask. So I have a piece of contact tape paper that is four by five and a quarter and I'm gonna die cut it with the tree from the pull tab tree die. And that will create a concave and convex uh, version of that arch. And that's just gonna help me create some beautiful uh, stripes on my tree to create that candy corn look. So I'm now just breaking my tree up into thirds and then I'm going to grab the convex version of the arch and just center it right there on the tree and press it, press it down. I'll then grab the concave version and then just place it over the lower third. So right now I have that center third open and ready for me to do some ink blending. I'm going to use Distress Oxides to do my ink blending and I'm starting with my orange which is ripe persimmon and I'm going to blend all over that center section. I am trying to avoid getting any ink on the little tabs that are on the right and left of the tree which I just pointed there. Uh, the I found that the glue or the, I shouldn't say glue, the tape that I use to uh, assemble my tree just doesn't stick very well to the Distress Oxide so I'm avoiding putting any of that ink where I'm going to apply that score tape later. And now I just removed the lower mask and I'm doing ink blending with my yellow and this is mustard seed. And that will complete my candy corn. Now that the ink blending is all done, I now can assemble my candy corn or my pop-up candy corn. The first thing I do is just fold at all the score lines that were imprinted on the cardstock. And I do I do use a bone folder here to just help me crease and really get a good fold. And all of these folds are mountain folds, so that just means that they're all folded back upon itself. Now I'm going to grab the mechanism, this hexagon piece. The top is always that little tab there, so that's always going to be your top. And I did another mountain fold right there on that tab. Now the center has a fold too, right where that slot is, is a fold. And this is a value fold. So this is a different fold where it folds kind of in on itself. Now let's grab the pull tab. So normally we have the pull tab on the right. And we're going to do things a little differently today with this candy corn and have the pull tab on the left. So normally when the pull tab's on the right, you pull from the right and that little slot needs to always be at the bottom. But because we are switching things up and we're going to have the pull tab on the left, I'm going to flip the pull tab over. Again, that little slot is on the bottom and we are going to connect this pull tab to the card. And so when you open the card, that, me that movement will pop the candy corn up. And once I flipped it over, I then did another mountain fold on the little tab that's on the pull tab. And now we are ready to trim off the excess tab that's on our candy corn. So again, the pull tab is gonna be pulled from the left. So I'm going to snip off the little, pull t little tab here on the candy corn that's on the left as well, because the pull tab is gonna to connect to the little tab that's on the right. So I am just cutting now the little tab that's on the left. So basically a simple way to think about this is just cut the little tab um, that's on the side you are going to have your pull tab. So now I'll add some score tape to that remaining tab that's on our candy corn. This is quarter inch score tape. I'm just going to apply it and then snip off the excess. 
and then I will grab a pencil here and mark out three sections that we will add liquid glue to later. You could add score tape to these sections if you prefer, but I actually like to use liquid glue for these, these larger sections. So now I'm going to grab the mechanism piece, again that's that hexagon piece, and I'm going to add some score tape to the top of the tab on that hexagon piece. And then I'll grab the pull tab here and add score tape to the inside of the tab on the pull tab piece. And once we get that score tape on the pull tab, we're all done with the score tape. It only takes three little pieces of score tape to assemble this pop-up candy corn, which is pretty amazing. So now we're ready to put the pull tab and the mechanism piece together. So we're going to remove the backing on the pull tab and then feed the little tab that's on the pull tab through the slot on the mechanism piece. And once it's through, I'll fold the tab down onto the mechanism. And to make sure your mechanism is the right way, always have the little tab up. That little tab on the mechanism piece indicates the top, so you always want to make sure that that is up. And I'm just going to give a good press here to make sure the pull tab and the mechanism are together. And that will complete that little part of the candy corn. Now we just need to attach this pull tab and mechanism to the candy corn. So I'm going to now remove the backing of score tape that's on the candy corn and adhere the bottom of the mechanism, the part without a tab, onto the tab on the candy corn. And it just goes right over that little tab on the candy corn. And now we are ready to flip it over here. And this is where it gets a little confusing. So now I need to attach the mechanism and pull tab to the underside of the front of the candy corn. And to do that, it requires kind of a flip motion of the pull tab and mechanism piece. So I'll do it one more time here so you can see. This is how it was originally. I'm going to grab the pull tab and mechanism and tuck it in on itself and under the side of the candy corn. So it's all kind of sandwiched together here. And then I'll remove the backing on the score tape. And before I press it down onto the the underside of the candy corn, I'm going to feed the tab through the side or that little slot on the other side of the candy corn and then I'll give it a good press. And that's all it takes to get that pop-up mechanism into the candy corn. And you can see that little z zigzag uh, motion of the paper, that's what will cause the pop-up to occur. And I'm now going to make sure it's a really good hold just to do a good press with my score tool over the score tape. And now I'm ready to get some liquid glue over that pencil area that I marked out earlier. This is the top triangular section of the candy corn. I'm just going to add some liquid glue and fold it over on, on itself. I still have two more sections that will get glue later, but I won't add any glue to those sections until I'm ready to adhere the candy corn to my card. And as you can see here, if I pull on the tab, the candy corn pops up, which is great. We still have another part that we'll add later to attach the candy corn um, pull tab to the card, but we'll do that later. Now we're going to move on to some stamping. So I grabbed a sentiment from the Sweet Tooth stamp set, which is the Simon Says exclusive stamp set that Waffle Flower made, and I am inking it up with some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and just stamping it at the upper portion of a A2 card base made from Craft card cardstock, and this is a side folding card base. So now I'm going to open it up and stamp a second part of my sentiment on the inside. This sentiment just says Happy Halloween and it is from Waffle Flowers Hocus Pocus stamp set and again I used VersaFine for that part as well. Now I'm going to take the Sweet Tooth stamp set again here and grab some of these candies, four candies from this set, mount it on an acrylic block and I am going to stamp it all over the front of my card. And again I'm using VersaFine here and I'm just going to stamp this, cover this entire um, panel or entire front of my card with these candies. And I do end up stamping some of them onto the back side just so I can completely cover this uh, card front, but I'm not worried about it. I think it's kind of a fun little um, surprise on the back side of the card. If that bothers you, you can just kind of mask off that left side of the card or the back side of the card so you don't stamp on that side. And that will complete my stamping for the card front. Now I'm going to stamp or do the same thing to the inside of the card. I'm only going to stamp the 
inside right panel of the card and I put down some contact paper just to mask off the other side of the card and again using these four little candies from the Sweet Tooth stamp set I'm going to completely cover this side of the card with these candies. So now that all my stamping is done, I'm now ready to color in all these candies with four Prismacolor colored pencils. I just have four shades, a yellow, an orange, a purple, and a green. And I'm just going to color these in really quick and I'll meet you back when I'm just about done. So now that I've finished coloring all the candies in with my colored pencils, I'm now going to add my white details with a white gel pen. So I'm just going to go over the tops of the candy corns with the white gel pen, and once I finish that, I'm going to go into the negative area of the sentiment, which is tricks and treats, with the white gel pen as well. That just makes that sentiment kind of pop. And that will be complete my coloring for the front of the card. I went ahead and colored the inside off camera because it's the same coloring that I did before. And now I'm ready to adhere my candy corn to my card. So I'm gonna add some liquid glue to the penciled sections that I penciled in earlier on both of those, really cover those whole sections with the liquid glue. And then I will center it here on the inside of my card and then just press and hold those sections just till the glue sets, which will it will set really quickly. And then I'll move on to extending my pull tab so it reaches the other half of the card. Because the, the pull tab has to be extended out to that other side so when you open the card, the um, candy corn pops up. So I have cut a strip of craft cardstock here. This is three and a half by a half an inch. The pull tab itself is a half an inch, so this will fit perfectly over the pull tab. I'm going to use some glue dots here, and I'm going to add the glue dots to about an inch on the back side of the pull, this uh, extension of the pull tab here. To attach it to the pull tab, I'm going to press down on the pull tab and then slide it through the slot. I found the glue dots worked really well for this. It provided a nice, strong, and quick adhesive hold. You definitely want something that's gonna give you a good hold because this, um, this pull is gonna, really needs to be well attached to the pull tab so it can really pop everything up. And I just fed it through and then lined it right up with the pull tab and then pressed it down to adhere it. And as you can see, this extension completely covers or hides the pull tab and it really looks seamless like one long piece. Now I've completely pulled out on this pull tab now so it's fully extended and the uh, candy corn is fully popped up and I'm going to trace with my pencil the edge of the pull tab and that's where I know I need to stick this pull tab down. I'm going to flip it over and grab my glue dots again here and just add it to about three-fourths of an inch, a half an inch on the back side of that pull tab and then stretch it out, pull it out to that pencil line and then give it a good press. And that is all I need to do to make this candy corn pop open when you open the card. You can see it's fully popped because the card is open. Now I'm going to give it a press down on the candy corn so it's flat and then fold my card over and then give it a good press to add a crease to that pull tab so when it folds closed it's completely flat. And that completes my card. As you can see we open it, the candy corn pops open, it works perfectly. It's a really easy little kind of hack to this uh, pull tab tree die set which is pretty awesome again you can get so much out of this die set I was so amazed and look at how flat it um, it folds down to when you want to ship it's pretty amazing so here are some other cards that I created with the pool tab uh, tree die this these cards were created with the whole with the stamp set from the Christmas tree combo so this is the Christmas tree stamp set and I used the pool tab tree die which I used for the candy corn to create these two pop-up cards and I did stamp on the front of these trees with an image from the Christmas tree stamp set and created the backgrounds with uh, stamps from the Christmas tree stamp set as well. And as you can see for these two pull tabs, I did have the um, pull tab on the right and you just fold it down and lock it in that little slot and they stay 
fully popped up. Now here's another idea, and I think this is a really fun idea too. You can use this Christmas tree die to create a party hat. I even added a little pom-pom to the top and decorated with images from the Yippee stamp set. And here's our the card we made today. This one is just a little bit different in the sense that we used, we had the pull tab on the left side and made it on the inside of the card, so your pop-ups on the inside. So lots of fun ideas you can create with this pull tab tree die. If you want any more info on the products I use, please visit Waffle Flower. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.